Hi, it's Debbie Williams here and today I'd like to talk about how to stop smoking and stay slim. Now I'm an NLP trainer and hypnotherapist and I've helped many people to overcome their uh, cigarette addiction and to stay slim. I'm going to share with you four tips that will really really help. One is to plan. If you have a plan to have an overall health regime over the next month or so of perhaps doing some exercise, of adding healthier foods, especially fruits, salads and vegetables because they're very alkalizing to the system and cigarettes are a very acid addiction so when you have alkalizing foods it helps neutralize the acid and get rid of the cravings much more quickly. Two, the second thing to do is to carry on having a hypnotic cigarette so whenever you feel like you want a cigarette, to stop and just imagine and go hold it and and by the time you've done 10 of those you'll feel almost like you've had a cigarette and get a lot of the benefits that you used to have because your body learnt to link relaxation of the deep breathing to that cigarette and it didn't have that in the first place because the first time you had a cigarette your body coughed and thought what are you doing? And the third thing you can do is add sunflower seeds to your diet because sunflower seeds mimic a lot of the effects that nicotine have. And if you need to do something with your hands, then fiddling to get the darn things out of the cases, then you'll find that um, you'll burn more calories trying to do that than, than eating them. And it's not something that will be an addiction that you'll carry on having later. You'll be able to wean yourself off those very, very easily. And the fourth thing that I want to mention is using hypnosis. It won't do it for you, but it will make your journey a heck of a lot easier and it will feel like it's lifting a lot of the pressure off to help you to easily make the decision. And I have a hypnosis CD, Stop Smoking, Stay Slim, which is 60 day money back guarantee and it's only £19 as a download. And if you feel that could be use to you, then, then please go ahead and buy it. But what I would say is don't buy it until you make the decision, yes, I want to do this, because it won't do it for you, but it will certainly make it a darn sight easier than going alone. Great talking to you today.